To get through the drought, I went through about 130 bales of hay and haylage, and I fed about 3,000 euros worth of meal. My name is Stephen Morrison. I'm farming here in Kill, uh, County Kildare. Uh, we run 45 spring calving cows and we calve another 30 cows in the autumn. All the progeny are brought through to beef. The bullocks are killed at anywhere between 24 and 28 months and the heifers are killed between 18 and 22 months. We also have a small flock of sheep here. It's only about 50 sheep at this stage. The spring 2018 it was very difficult here. Uh, the grass basically didn't grow right up until the end of April. Cattle here usually go out around the first week in April. This year it was the last week before they went out. And that coupled with a bad autumn in 2017, when cattle came in about two to three weeks early, meant that we had a very long winter and my feed was completely gone. In fact, I was buying in silage by the end of April. We've had no rain from about the 7th or 8th of May right through to about the 24th of July. I started feeding cattle here around about the first week in July. To get through the drought, I went through about 130 bales of hay and haylage, and I fed about 3,000 euros worth of meal. I fed the heifers out in the fields um, in July, got them up to about four kilos of meal, and then when the drought broke, I brought them into the shed, put them on the slats, uh, up them to ad lib meal and fed them straw. That allowed me to f uh, free up a field for silage and I'm going to cut uh, 21 acres of silage this week that the heifers would normally have been eating. Uh, the bullocks, uh, I started feeding them in mid-June. I wanted to keep them thriving and the last of those bullocks was killed this week so they've gone out of the system now. I recently have done a fodder budget with my Chogs advisor and with all the silage saved this year, including the bales that I have from the heifers going in early, I'm still 100 tonnes of silage short. So to make up for the deficit, I'm going to feed straw in the uh, spring calving cows diet, so reduce the silage there, and I might also have to up the concentrates going into the dry stock, that would be the weanlings and the store cattle in the yard. Okay, so to help shorten the winter, I plan to keep the cattle out well into November if possible, and in that way reduce this end of the winter. Uh, come next spring, I'm planning to go out with urea in February and give the grass a kickstart then, and hopefully next year will be a better year for grass growth.